Hello friends, this video on chemical bonding part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 8. Let's talk about the formal charge. In many cases, if you see, the net molecule is not having charge. Sometimes they have charge also. But sometimes it is possible to assign charge to particular atom. Please note, I am assigning charge to particular orbit. Sometimes the whole molecule may be positive, uh, may be neutral also, but or may have charge. But it's possible to assign formal charge to each atom. Please note, I am talking about formal charge to each atom. And this formal charge in each atom in the polyatomic molecule, of course, is nothing but the difference between the number of valence electron of the atom in the free state and the number of electrons assigned to the atom in the Lewis structure. We'll explain to you with an example. It is nothing but the number of uh, valence, for example, oxygen, right? It has six valence electron. So this is the natural form of oxygen atom. It has six valence electron. But in some Lewis structure, let's suppose you're assigning uh, seven uh, electrons to this one particular oxygen, then it will have six minus seven as minus one charge. Or if you are assigning only five electrons to this oxygen, then it will have plus one charge. I'll take an example. This is nothing but the natural state, how many electrons it should have, that particular atom, minus the number of electrons assigned to the atom in the Lewis structure. Generally, it is the same. That's why there is no formal charge on the atoms in most of the case. But in some case, they do have some formal charge. The formula is pretty simple. Uh, it is nothing but the number of electrons in the free state for the atom minus total number of uh, non-bonding electrons and 1 by 2 of total number of bonding electrons because the bonding electron is shared between two so it is half of the bonding electrons. The example is O3. We'll take the example. Let's draw the structure of O3 molecule. So oxygen has six valence electron each. So it will have six into three, 18 valence electron. 18 valence electron to start. So let's draw an oxygen and let's draw with two bonds. Correct. So for two bonds, we consume how many electrons? Four electrons. For two bonds, so we are left with 14 electrons. Correct. So let's uh, make this guy happy, the central one. So this guy has four electrons now. Let's add four more. So four you add in this. That is oxygen two. Let's suppose I'll make it oxygen one, two, and three. So we have ten electrons now. Let's make this guy happy. Oxygen one. So it has two electrons. So we have to add six more electrons in this. So it'll have uh, four electrons remaining. So with four electrons, we can't make this guy happy because this needs six electrons, right? So this structure is not possible. So with this electrons, uh, this uh, oxygen will say, don't be happy, don't be sad. We'll share one more electron. So in that case, they'll come up with a new structure where there'll be a double bond here and single bond here, right? So let's start things from scratch once again. So we start with 18 valence electron. We use six electrons for three bonds. So we have 12 electrons. Let's make the central atom happy. Central has six now. It needs two. So minus two, we have, this is for oxygen two. The central one is oxygen two. Let's make the oxygen one happy. It had four. So, so it needs four more. So we have six remaining now. Let's make this guy happy, oxygen three. It has two electrons now, it needs six electrons to be happy. So this guy is also happy and we have zero electrons, right? And everybody is happy. And this is the structure. But please note here that in this case, all these atoms are not neutral. Let's see this atom now. Let's name this atom one, two and three. So let's see atom one. Atom 1 for charge of this atom charge of atom 1 is nothing but 6 is the uh, valence electron for a free state oxygen. So we'll have 6 minus 
how many electrons this guy has this guy has i think four i have not drawn sorry for that this guy has six let me draw this also minus four because it has four lone pair electrons minus it has how many uh, shared pair shared pair it has eight right but out of the eight sorry four shared pair it has four if you see this 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 and this out of four it has only half of that which is owned by this uh, oxygen right hope you understand this so it will have net charge of 6 minus 4 minus 2 that is 0 so there will be 0 charge on this oxygen molecule why because 6 is the number of valence like the free oxygen 4 is the lone electron it has now and 4 by 2 is the electron it has from the shared pair so let's talk about charge on oxygen number 2 6 is again the number of valence electron oxygen has in free state minus 2 electrons it has right minus 1 2 3 4 if you see here 4 it has shared so 4 by 2 because 4 electrons are shared but out of that the contribution will be only by 2 so this becomes 6 minus 2 minus 2 that is plus sorry there is a mistake here so it has 6 uh, shared electron here right 6 2 plus 1 3 and total contribution will be 6 by 2 that is 6 minus 2 minus 2 that is plus 1 so it has got plus 1 charge this guy has got plus 1 charge so let's talk about charge for oxygen third third 6 is the electron in the valence uh, free free state of oxygen minus 1 2 3 4 5 6 lone pair it has minus Two it has got from the shared so but the contribution it will have is half only so this becomes 6 minus 6 minus 1 that is minus 1 so this electron has atom has 0 charge this guy has plus 1 charge and this guy has minus 1 charge overall charge is neutral but atoms has the formal charge hope you understand this see so if you are confused with this 4 by 2 and all just count the number of bonds so in this case for O1 there were two bonds so use two here for O2 there were three bonds so use three here for O3 there were one bond so use one here because one bond is nothing but two electrons so we are just saying two by two that's also one so we just count the number of bonds if you are comfortable with that right number of electrons in the val in the free state six minus number of electrons here minus number of bonds so this is the case also here I will tell you that which I will not discuss much this structure I could have drawn in this fashion also right where my uh, oxygen 1 2 and 3 is this way where oxygen 1 and 2 is single bond and 2 and 3 is double bond right so both the structure are possible so in such case where we have multiple structure possible for a little structure we have the term of resonance we say that the resonance exists in this case and with that makes the molecule all the more stable we will we'll discuss more on resonance uh, after a few slides so i'll not uh, touch uh, i mean i'll not discuss this much now let's understand the formal charge here so how to get the formal charge for oxygen one we had for all this oxygen this is constant because this is something which is natural for oxygen the first oxygen this was the four because it has four electrons here and by 2 because it has 2 bond here the second oxygen 6 is natural 2 is here because it has 2 electron here and 3 is uh, there because it has 3 bonds here for oxygen 3 also 6 is natural this 6 comes because it has 6 electrons and this one comes because it has 1 bond so the question comes to your mind is we read about the formal charge in the atoms for a particular nucleus for, for the nucle molecules but overall the molecule may be neutral also so what is the advantage of uh, understanding the formal charge what is the need of understanding the formal charge so we told that the molecule can be neutral also 
So it doesn't make much difference in understanding the charge. But the critical reason why we understand the formal charge is because it helps in selection of lowest energy structure. And I told that everybody wants to be stable with lowest energy because energy is something like stress. Right? So the lowest energy structure is one which has the lowest formal charge on the atoms. So if I have, if I have one structure where I have, let's suppose three atoms has got minus two or plus two charge, the other structure, possible structure where there is no charge or minus one charge. So that is the lowest one which is possible is chosen as the correct structure for the level structure. Correct? Because, hope you understand, because we have seen scenarios where we get a multiple structure. So you have, if you get the multiple structure or multiple level structure, the one with the lowest charge is my best structure. Correct. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.